We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. Be the change. Be the change. Come watch the No Filter Show. Good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> Welcome to the No Filter Show. I, I'm a little torn on what I should say because it's an internet show. And so, and I hate the words good day. I don't know why. So I'm now going to start doing the, um, what's this show called? The Truman Show. Good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> good evening. Thing. That's going to be my new thing. So welcome everybody to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. Today we have Pastor Diallo Ingram, who flew, flew in all the way from Belutra to come here and talk to me today. And our Hag Knowles segment, we have the admin, Ashley Saunders. Looking forward. It's going to be awesome. And I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Bye. See you in a minute. That's the No Filter movie. Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production. BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Ultra Games, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. Hi everybody, good afternoon. My name is Mitsunori Chikawa. Welcome to Latitude Restaurant. Today we prepare a machi jalapeño tiradito. All my dishes I try to, to mix different flavors, spicy, sour, sweet to make a haumami flavor. After put the hamachi in the plate, we need to season it with a Himalayan salt, a little pinch of black pepper. Then to have a fresh flavor, we put uh, some, to make a spicy flavor, we, we put a roaster jalapeno pepper. We use a special sauce, the name is jalapeño ponzu. It's a half part of the ponzu sauce and a half part of jalapeño dressing. And finally, we put uh, some topping of the fried leek in each hamachi slices. Here we are, okay? So, this is hamachi spicy jalapeño. Welcome. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. 
Email us at info at live2.fish. Diallo Ingram, all the way from far, far, far in New Florida, 20 minute flight with the air condition broken at the airport. <laughs> Is that a fair share? Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be here. Is Glad everything here. working? I working? heard that. I heard. I heard that it, it is working. Okay. Thanks to your efforts. Yes. Like we had to get that straight first. Okay. Because I was there for the graduation and it was hot. So that's how. Oh yeah. They're yeah, bringing that up. That is how he ended up on this show. So let me tell you all about. I, I, I'm going to tell you a little story and then I'll let him tell you who he is and all this. I go to my goddaughter's uh, graduation. Uh, flew into Governor's Harbor, and they're doing this thing, you know, they're still doing on Alba Islands where they're combining all of the graduations together, the public schools, which sucks, by the way. But anyway, I was there in this room sweating, and you all know I don't sweat, okay? With my makeup on, and I had my hair straightened, and it was just all poofy, and I was miserable. And I wanted to leave this hot hall so badly, right? No joking. And then they introduced the guest speaker. Gina's plan was to duck out. I was like, I dip it out. They get the speaker coming on. And when he came on the stage, I was like, well, I know this dude from somewhere. Couldn't catch where I knew him. They said the name. I guess it, because y'all know my head, but I can't remember everybody. But he immediately grabbed me. And I was like, this is going to be good. So I got comfortable in the heat. And he spoke probably 20 25 minutes. I think 27 minutes. 27 to, minutes. To exact. And he kept me in there. And what he said, listen, he was talking to the kids, but I was all in that. And I was like, man. And afterward, I said, dude, you got to come on my show. Because it, that's how powerful it was. And anybody, I, I, I'm going to say this at the end, too, that they should hire you to speak. But I'll say this at the end to plug you because I believe in you. But that's how he ended up here today. So I wanted you to... Um, let everybody know who you are, what you're about, what made me love you so much, and tell me about how you ended up doing what you're doing. How you ended up on that stage? How I ended up on that stage. So Long. First, wait, first of all, you're married. First of all, I'm married. I'm just two months short of my 20th wedding anniversary. Ooh, you like me and get married young. Yes, very young. Two kids, two lovely kids, a 22-year-old and a 14-year-old. And um, by profession, I am an IT guy. Right, because um, that's where I remember him from. Yeah, that's yeah. My, my, my degree is in um, IT. And um, I spent a, I guess a considerable amount of time trying to build this business, IT Communications. And then I watched it come crumbling down one day. And a friend of mine, he, he was, I guess, quite eloquent with it. He said, you know, some Diallo, you may be crying over this thing now, but it was about five years ago that, you know, maybe God has something else for you. And I was like, man, you know something, at this point, I don't care about it. I am hurt. Um, and I almost went into a state of depression for about two years. And so what happened was they were looking for a guest speaker in, at Preston Aubrey. I was still living in Nassau at the time. Mm -hmm. one, of my, one of my colleagues at my old church actually asked them if they knew somebody. Her, her, her friend taught at Preston Aubrey. So she said, yeah, I know somebody, but the yellow. I don't know if she even realized that. She knew I asked me Luther, but I don't know if she realized I went, I went to Preston Aubrey. So I said, yeah, man, I was actually the head boy at Preston Aubrey in 1994. My wife was actually the deputy head girl. And so I was like, man, I jumped at this idea. Like, what? Going back home. And I went home, and um, I spoke at the graduation. And I also got an opportunity to speak at the primary school's graduation all within about a week. Mm -hmm. And people, like, they loved it. I didn't understand why, because I have a, a short attention span. Like, told my wife, I stopped saying. So it's hard to keep me captivated. So right. when I heard people walk, like, walk in the street, they were like um, giving me rare reviews. And then the funny thing, I heard people actually quoting things that I was saying. I was like, don't do that. Like, no, don't, don't, don't quote me. And because I, I was uncomfortable with it. But I found out that I had this, this gift where. I was going to say, because I'm quoting them. <laughs> yeah, I, I have this, this gift where um, I literally walk into a room and sometimes I do not even prepare. And I sit and prepare as I'm on the stage sometimes. Right, because you're feeling. Yeah, I'm yeah. Feeling, feeling the energy of the room. And, I, and something pops in my mind, I jump on board and I, I do this thing. And so that was probably one of my biggest crowds speaking in front of 500. And until yesterday, I was still getting people talking about that and giving me short tidbits. As a matter of fact, you did also. Yes. Yesterday. Yes. So it was one of those kind of things that sort of um, 
you stumble across, but my daughter says you don't stumble across anything. This actually happened by, by pre, pre something pre happening uh, for you. So I ended up becoming, I heard the call of God in my life and I um, went into full time ministry. And um, that was a challenge because it was a challenge, but it wasn't a challenge. I did the purpose driven life three times. The first time I said, This thing is garbage. Rick Warren, you this don't make no sense. Then the second time, still garbage. I don't know why I did it again. Then a friend of mine said, <laughs> let's, do, let's do this again. And I said, you know, son, I don't hurt the guy's feelings. I said, um, let's do it again. I did it again. The third time of going through the purpose driven life, I found out that one of my greatest joys was seeing other people succeed. And off of that, I realized that I spent a lot of my time and my, my daughter used to laugh at me because when I went to Kingsway with her, she would say her friends would always joke that I was, I, her dad is going to be somewhere encouraging somebody in a corner. Yes. And so she, the, the, I was like the, the, the joke of, 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 of Kingsway when she was there, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. And so I realized that I got my greatest joy out of helping people. And so that graphed them with becoming a pastor, which I reluctantly did because I sort of did not like the term pastor. I still don't like it as a matter of fact. Because it has a. Because then, when you feel like almost as if people are going to judge you. Yeah. It's so yeah. funny. You're not judging. Yeah. But yeah you, you don't because want I, people to look at you different. Because I did it. Right. I, I did but it. it you see? Because like, I because did then it. People then act different around yes, you. Yes, they act different around you. And you know, it's so funny because, like, I before you came in the room, I was like, this is pastor guy. <laughs> Everybody remember controlling mouths. <laughs> so, you know, but I, it is true with the quoting and the captivating and all of that rolls into one because. I am a person where it's very hard to keep me captivated in the crowd because let me tell you, I'll be like, oh my God, this is so boring. Yeah. And so you had that grab and afterward, I was quoting you like yeah. immediately yeah. after you because. <laughs> and I cringe on that house. Like, oh, yeah, that? it was so <laughs> funny. I was screaming at these kids. You're stuck in the lobby. Yeah. You're not going to the penthouse. <laughs> that, that was part of his speech, which was awesome. Now. Andrew, you also told me about this awesome program yeah. that you started last year. And that's yeah. what I really want to tap into because yeah. he seems to be, um, what the reason like I really, really want him here today is y'all know that my theme in life is be the change you want to see. And when his wife immediately started telling me, oh, Gina, I got to tell you because his wife, you know, I, I knew her for years as well. You, you know, you would really love this program that he started. And, um, it's about helping out the young men in society and doing all that. I was like, so of course she started uh, getting me really intrigued. And I said, oh, I want to learn more. As I learned more, I said, oh, we need to get, we need everybody to be a part of this. This is going to be big. So tell me about, uh, tell me why this started. What's it called? The man. It's actually, this is our second year. Mm -hmm. It's called um, Man Up, the Man, man up, up 2000, 2019. Um, and it's something that I hold dear, dear to my heart. I remember last year, I, I spoke at one of the closed door sessions, and one of the guys said, I've heard you speak before, but I've never heard you speak so passionate about something. The reason why is this. I woke up about maybe 13, 14 years ago, and after being married to my wife, and who was my girlfriend, before I realized that I was not a good husband. I was not a good husband. Wow. And short of that, I was not a good person. I think the core of who I was was a good person, but I had some things going on um, underneath that didn't make me a good person. I, and I remember my wife calling the office at Atlantis some years ago, and one of my colleagues was saying to her, what's wrong with your husband? You don't talk to nobody. He doesn't talk to people. He like, got a chip on his shoulder. Like, what's going on with him? Mm -hmm. And um, at that point, I really didn't care too much because I think I was hardened and I had some, some things happening in my life that left me sort of broken and sort of just void. And when I started to identify this, I, I started to think, you know something? This is not good. And I heard someone, I, I was telling a friend that, you know, I'll die for this woman. But in the back of my mind, I heard this thing saying, but you, you wouldn't live for her. I, I would take a bullet for her but you can't stop some of your boyish shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And it sort of challenged me. I hope your husband says that. And so what I started to do, I started to look introspectively and say, you know something, I, I got a problem. I got a problem. I got a problem with this flesh. I can't control this flesh. I got a problem with my anger. I can't control that. I'd break up cell phones and break up phones and 
I was talking to my brother one day and he was telling me how he used to throw his phones against the tractors and break them up if his girlfriend called him. He just was, had this explosive rage. And so even coming to Nassau today, by the time I got from the airport to the second or third roundabout, someone was pressing on their horn blowing. That's me. Probably was you. <laughs> and what happened was I, I, I was so concerned about the anger that I see, especially in young men. 2017, I was actually on a trip with my wife. I felt the Spirit of God leading me to have a men's conference. Mm -hmm. I'm the kind of person, if you invite me to a man's conference, I am not going to show up. That's what say he won't be the one talking. I ain't going to show up. No. <laughs> I, I didn't like that. I didn't like the dynamics. But when the Spirit of God started to speak to me and say, I want you to speak on faith, finances, and the flesh. Why faith? Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is just a, a, without being churchy, the faith is just having a firm belief that something that you can't see will happen. That's all faith is. I believe that this thing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I believe that this 2019 showing of this conference is going to be great. That's faith. All right, that's cool. Finances, what about finances? We have too many young men who are talented, who are gifted, who cannot monetize themselves. We just spoke about that. Right. They can't monetize themselves. They, they got, got this gift, good carpenter, good electrician, uh, good, good mason, but they're working for, for pennies. How to get them to make this thing, this glue thing where they can actually monetize themselves and carry on some good bread to their family. The next thing, the third thing, and the most important thing of them all, this whole thing, which can be undone by everything if this, this, this thing is not right. I was reading a book on myself, discovery, trying to get this thing out of my head. Um, how, to, how to put this flesh into subjection, my mind into subjection. And I stumbled across a quote that says, you could always tell a man who has not been socialized properly. He can't control his sexual appetite and his anger. I said, much. that's 85% of the guys I know. 95, says Gina. <laughs> they are um, very promiscuous and some other things, and also they're angry. And so as I started to uncover this thing and try to figure this thing out, I got to a point where I became comfortable with who I was. And I became that husband who a wife could be proud of. Because at one point, my wife told me, she said, Diallo, she said, early in our marriage, like when we were racing out the yard, I wouldn't have mind if a truck just hit you and didn't kill you, but just, just broke you enough so you could feel what I was feeling as you was breaking me. Yes, shake you up. I shake know, you up. I, I know Don't that. kill you, but just, just damage you enough. Yes. You I feel could, my pain. Yeah, you can feel my pain. Yes. And I, and I was so glad that she actually, I guess, became mature enough to say that to me after the fact it is. Yeah. And I was able to receive that because I realized that I was, was this person. And so when I got this in my heart of hearts to do in 2017, it, it, didn't, it didn't happen until 18 months later. I couldn't shake it. I felt the Spirit of God saying to me, man, this thing is necessary. We got too many young men. And every time I turn my TV on, I see a young man with his head down in shackles or a guy dies on the streets in the capital. I'm like, dude, you, you, are, you are complicit with this. Because even if you could save one guy, to help him with his anger and his rage and his frustration. And what we found out, Gina, is this. 75% of all the males that we counsel and about 60% of all the females we counsel have one thing in common. You know what that is, Gina? Tell me. Daddy hurt. I was, I was counseling with a guy one night. He, he said he was suicidal. So I walked and talked with him for a few hours, literally a few hours. And he said, he said, you know something? He said, my daddy promised to buy me a bicycle. He never did that. I'm like, dude, this now, 10 o'clock in the night. I can buy your bicycle. You can buy your, you can buy your own bicycle. But, but you know what it was? He's scarred. Didn't know tell about <laughs> What it was is that I identified it wasn't really the bicycle, you know. It was a broken promise. I was going to say, empty It was a promises. broken promise. Promise. Okay, hold on. We're going to come right back. We're going to take a break because I'm getting the signal. And um, we're going to continue this conversation because we got to get on to the point. All right? I, he, he preaching to us, you know? All right, we'll be right back. Give us two minutes. That's her only rule. Here's to all the early morning breakfasts. To the last minute surprises. And a new friend for life. The year the sparks flew, and we said, I do. Here's to the biggest table on the street, when family and friends come together. Milo Butler, your neighborhood store, a family tradition. 
summer, take off with Shell. Spend $20 or more in fuel and enter to win. You and a friend can experience Bruno Mars live in concert in Viva Las Vegas. Or relax in picturesque Harbor Island for the regatta. Or plan an exciting vacation for four to Orlando. Fuel up at your nearest Shell service station and you can also win thousands of dollars in free gas. Bahamas Air vouchers, super value gift certificates, or one of many new iPhones that will be given away this summer. So hurry into your favorite Shell location and enter to win. Like us on Facebook for more chances to take off with Shell. And win today. Hey, hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. yeah. You still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me call you back. Okay, good. Me too. Diallo Ingram. I have a little bit of difficulty saying that name. I don't know why. But anyway, it's special. I like it. If I was having another kid, I may actually consider it, but I'm not. So let's go squash that. So now, coming back up to the important part, mm -hmm. which is in October, you have this awesome event, the Man Up. It's called a Mana Conference, but they, if you look at this thing, they have all this kayak and a zip line and all that. So to me, it's like the Paintball, Mana. basketball. Okay, I want to go. And um, do you need any female guests? De definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. You not don't even me? No, you not see? even you. Oh my goodness. I really... I, I, we, we, we can work in the kitchen though. I, I, <laughs> never. It's, no one told about a cook, obviously. Oh, sorry. And, and I don't watch dishes either. either so. From Kentucky. Okay. <laughs> I know, from Nassau. Yeah. I, know. I know. Yeah, they're, they're not a sponsor. Oh, sorry. That's why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. so tell me about... Um, this event, and what I and I really encourage everybody and tell them. I want you to tell them um, what's the website, how they mm -hmm. sign up, what they're gonna do, how long it is, what the dates are, what's up, blah blah blah. All right, the event dates are October seventeenth to nineteenth at Camp Bahamas in Eleuthera. In Eleuthera. In Eleuthera. Um, it's a the, the reason why we chose the campsite because it gives you a real a real teenager kind of feel. You got the camping, you got the um, gymnasium, you have the, I the swimming. I always want to go. My kids go. Yes, it is a great it's a great venue. And so what we are actually going to do is that if you go to First Ministry E L E U dot org, that's First Ministry E L E U dot org. Um, the flyers right there, you can actually sign up. Everything is actually interactive on the site. Um, for to participants from Nassau, it's a $400 fee to come. Um, that includes your airfare, living accommodations, transportation, uh, six meals, and activities. Everything. So I, I think it's, a, it's reasonably priced, and it is an opportunity for men to come and to bear all to get to the point where we can actually start to unravel some of this stuff. What's the ages? The ages are basically from 19 through whatever. Okay, 19 whatever. and up. Okay. Yeah, but we're also having, on the last day, we're having a condensed version for teenage boys. We're going to give them uh, three sessions and plus activities on, okay. on the, the last day. Okay, and um, WhatsApp? WhatsApp at 376-0449. Um, that's my number. I normally answer my phone, I answer my messages very, very aggressively as a former IT guy. So you can actually hit me up for information, 376-0449. Um, check us out. What is the purpose? Why am I going? Why would I send my husband? Why would I send my The son? reason why you're sending your husband, this is not for everybody. Right. This is for the guy who wakes up in the morning and decides that I can't control my anger or my sexual appetite. I'm spending too much time doing things that I should not be doing and I don't want to do this anymore. If you're a guy who's cool with philandering, and you're cool with the angle, go, go ahead, bro. A lot that, of you out there. Go ahead. But if you are a, a, a young man or even an old man, you decide that enough is enough. I, I, I can't do this all by myself. I want to get with some people who have overcome some of these challenges to give me strength. If that's you, come on down. If you're cool with your thing, do you. Very interesting. I, you know what? I, I'm quiet for change because I'm actually thinking of all the people who like to sign up to go. <laughs> and I don't want to call his name one particular person. It's not my husband, but it's one particular person I'm thinking, boy, I know plenty of people who go. And Gina, you know, one of the challenges is every time you start to fix a price to something, people get turned off, right? Yes. But B did not turn down a single man last year that called and said, I want to be there. Diallo, I need to be there. I don't have the money. I already planned my family okay, vacation. Okay, we're cutting that part. No. Nope. <laughs> don't, don't tell people that. If you don't have any money, you can still go. We're cutting that. Good. All right. So, Diallo, thank you so much for coming.
And uh, I really appreciate it. And I look forward and I cannot wait to hear what happens. And I hope you have some sort of footage so we know yeah. some of the fun. Yeah. And I'm going to completely encourage people to sign up. And I think it's such a great movement. And I, and I want to tell you to be encouraged to continue because of the fact that you did follow your calling. I know it's hard. And it is hard for people to say, I am going to be the change that I yeah. want to see. Yeah. A lot of people don't do that. They have a talk, 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 but they never do it. Yeah. So thank you for being you. Yeah. And um, anytime, keep me in touch. Let me know what's going on. Will All do. right. Thanks for coming. Will do. All right, I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's her only rule. Come on into the quality home center. You will see the savings from when you enter. Your one-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the quality home center. Home center, spend less and live better. With Trio, you can get everything. And more, like our phone. You get features like caller ID, call waiting, call forwarding, and a bunch of others like <coughs> virtual number. So you can now call friends and family abroad as a local call, all for free. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev, you and us together. That's her only rule. Hi, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back to the Nose of the Show with me, Gina Nose. And it's now time for our Head Nose segment. Yay! And today we have us, Ashley Saunders. Do you want to say Ashley <laughs> Adderley Saunders? No, Ashley Saunders is fine. Okay, okay. Ashley Saunders. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, Ash, second season. Yes. You're back again. Here I am. Tell me, has anything changed? Uh... We've made a few rules. Um, new rules. New rules, actually. Uh, one was like, you know, we leave the, the stuff that they usually advertise on Head Notes. We say that that's for your personal page only. Like they do an advertisement and they'd be like, oh, this and that. No, no. Yeah, I was like, come on. Like you, you have your personal page for a reason. Yeah. Like use it. Use it. Yeah, so that's our new rule, and we yeah. seem to like it, and we yes. do it a lot now. Because, you know, we can tag, we can say why we're removing your posts. And so that's I love option. that. Eight, I love that. Click. Yeah, and so, um, because we're going to make this, uh, the, our, I think our head nose segment is going to be a little shorter, but I want everybody to know, once again, head nose, what we're about, um, it's our, it's our, Oh, it's a Facebook page. It is a private group. You do have to answer the questions. People do come up into the group to get accepted. So if you don't answer those questions, we're not going to let you in. It is mainly for uh, Bahamians or people who live in the Bahamas. And um, we have our admin team of 12 ladies who are a jury. And we have a lot of fun doing it. So, Ashley, if you could say one thing to all the age cares, what would it be? Please read the rules. <laughs> <laughs> what camera am I looking at? <laughs> that one. Please read the rules. <laughs> it is not so hard. That, that's all we ask is just to read the rules and just follow them. It's not hard. It's not hard. But they, they, they just love to stress us out. Yes. And you know what I realize that they're doing now? They wait for us to go to sleep. And suddenly at 1 o'clock in the morning, all this oh no. magic happens. And suddenly all the ads pop up and all the rants mm -hmm. are raving and all that. And then we go right through them. Yes, and then we have to delete everybody or delete all the thread and then they inbox us and say, why are we getting, why are we deleted? So anyway, thank you for coming as usual. And y'all know she's my makeup artist. So she's always here with me. Anyway. Always. Yes, my little no, it's my girl. <laughs> so she makes me pretty. So I just enhance her beauty. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. But look at her. I want to show her nails and, and her uh, eyes are matching. Yeah, that's better than me. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back for my little exit. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. That's her only rule. With Trio, you can get everything and more. Like our internet. We're taking you from 50 megabits per second download speed to 75 megabits per second. We've gone from blazing to, what's a good adjective? Breakneck blistering speeds. 
you're getting a 150% speed increase than if you got internet alone. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. That's the No Filter movie. Show is proudly sponsored by another production, BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Ultra Games, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. Welcome back, everybody, to the final little portion of the No Filter Show for the week. Just give you a little taste. I know it's summertime. It's hot. Everybody's doing their own thing. You're enjoying life. The children are out of school. We're doing a lot of traveling. Guess what? Remember when you go on the plane, remember how to dress. You got to watch back a couple segments because I did explain this to you. Wear your flip-flops. Don't wear too much jewelry. Be courteous. Be kind. Do all of that good stuff. And remember to be the change you want to see. Okay? See you next week. Bye. You're thinking that's her only rule.